of uh, Australian Catholic University. And I have my colleague, Tanil, who is at our lovely campus in Brisbane. And these are just two campuses among seven here in Australia. And we have also a campus in Rome where students can do an exchange for a semester. So that's a bonus. Um, Firstly, uh, I am a staff member here at ACU. I've been with them for five years, started off teaching English as an additional language to our students on a pathway to their bachelors here and was fortunate to become the international student advisor during the pandemic to help out our international students and then very fortunately was able to move across uh, over into the veteran space, which for me was wonderful because I served eight years in the Canadian forces, Royal Canadian Air Force. Um, I left the forces as a, a captain or a flight lieutenant, as you would call it here, and uh, nothing but uh, good memories of, of that experience and contribution. So I am delighted that I can relate with our perspective and our current students um, on what um, special things a military experience brings and be able to communicate um, and understand. And Tanil um, is going to share her background um, as a liaison, like myself, supporting our students. Hi, my name's Tanil. I started studying nursing at Australian Catholic Uni in 2021 as a full time student coming through the veteran entry pathway. I've uh, been a reservist for a bit over 15 years. Um, I've deployed on Op Slipper um, and assisted on COVID Assist and Bushfire Assist, so I have a fair bit of experience. Um, and I started working for the Veterans Program um, as a peer facilitator last year. And this uh, end of last year, the opportunity came up for a full-time position with Student Veteran Services. I jumped at the chance. So my study is now part-time. So I'm slowly making my way through my degree. Uh, I also have um, one son studying at the North Sydney campus of Australian Catholic Uni and another son who has just been made an offer through the Veteran Entry Pathway Families um, to study at ACU as well. So um, I have experience as a veteran, a student, and um, as, a, as a parent as well. Fantastic, Tanil, um, and congratulations to your son. That he would be our most recent um, student vet, student veteran cohort. Um, he's he's the freshest we've got, <laughs> and many more um, applications to come. So, excellent. Um, I'll share my screen of uh, a PowerPoint um, to go over our programs with you all. So. Here we are, just a moment. All right, so we've got the Student Veteran Services, Australian Catholic University, and three wonderful uh, veterans uh, who were studying uh, the Bachelor of Paramedicine as our ambassadors on our first page here. So what ACU is all about is increasing accessibility, um, supporting that key period of transition and encouraging success through to the graduation stage. So um, for today's attendees, uh, you're likely uh, you have a number of things in common and curiosity about education pathways, I'm sure, is one of them. Guidance in this area can really help because when you've arrived at that fork in the road, making a choice can be stressful. But remember that the fact that there are prongs in that fork, it's a good thing. They represent options such as different types of work and also the opportunity of exploring a university degree or diploma. The more information and encouragement you receive, the more chance you'll experience this fork in the road as a positive stress. The employment pathway 
Well, it's about receiving an income for your work. But higher education is about working to receive a good income and a satisfying role after a big investment. I think beginning with questions is the best way to start alleviating concerns and hopefully achieving some clarity as to which prong in the fork you'd like to go for. And I know Soldier On helps you with all of those prongs and options. I'm here to talk about the higher education option. Um, I used to teach English and, uh, and how to ask questions was key to communicating. So I'd like to start with the five W's and an H. So please um, feel free, as Chloe said, to uh, put any questions in the chat um, and we will have a chance to speak at the end of the presentation. So the first question, what qualifications are achievable at the university tertiary level? There are lots of them, not just a bachelor. We have diplomas here at ACU. We've got a nice offering on this slide. You can see eight of them and for many they may just require a diploma for the entry level in a position in the workforce that that they want to apply for. Um, that one year diploma might be just the ticket, but diplomas also can serve as a pathway to a bachelor. Um, we have some, for example, uh, bachelors where um, when you apply, you need to have certain criteria like grade 12 maths and for for teaching. Um, so if you don't have that, you would probably get an offer to do a diploma in um, education. And this is your your pathway to a bachelor. Um, the degree would still likely take four years, but your diploma year is counted towards that. So um, that's really helpful. So why go to uni right now? Economy is pretty good. Lots of companies are saying we're hiring. Well, going to university isn't just to get a job, but it's to get the job of your top choice. Um, a tertiary education, as it says here, it allows you to compete right at the application level um, with those who have degrees. Um, so it can raise the seniority level that you enter the workforce in or change jobs, a new direction. Um, and it just means that you don't have that one barrier because you have so much to offer with military experience. Um, you just hate to have that uh, tertiary requirement in the job ad be the barrier. But also university, um, I like to point out that it's not just boring lectures <laughs> uh, or exciting lectures. It's the opportunity in many of our courses to do a placement, to have a practicum component. And in those placements, you make connections and you uh, make impressions on, say, uh, the nursing staff. And when it comes time for you to graduate and go into a graduate position, position, uh, the, the network that you develop on your placements can really be helpful. Um, and it lets you know whether that's the career for you. Placements can, can be do or die. Um, who are these student veterans that we have? So uh, previous uh, or current serving members, veterans, we call them all student veterans. Um, and uh, they are from the ADF. Um, we also have our program open to, for instance, Commonwealth countries, and uh, we also facilitate anyone on the GI Bill to come over to Australia as an international student and the funding that they receive can be applied against the Australian Catholic University international fees. 
And we've actually welcomed a new student under that GI Bill here in Melbourne this, this semester. So student veterans are military connected people, um, some who never imagined the scholarly life and they saw that as you know, someone else's pathway, um, but uh, much to their surprise and satisfaction, they're doing really well because of that determination and grit to set a goal and uh, be disciplined about achieving it. So our student veterans also include those that um, need other considerations due to uh, disabilities. Um, we have a fantastic disability staff. Um, they are advisors and they um, you bring your uh, matters to them and they help you to develop um, an education inclusive plan and EIP and that plan helps you to communicate with your lecturers on what your needs are in particular and um, they can help with say if you need more time to complete um, an examination or an assessment an essay um, this EIP uh, helps you with that um, so all the paperwork is done and then you just present your EIP and the lectures are really accommodating. We've also got uh, wonderful counseling staff where sessions are free for our students here. And academic skills coaches, they're wonderful. It's like having a private tutor um, and you don't you don't have to pay the $80 an hour for that. So it's all part of your ACU um, outreach. The, um, the ADF uh, family uh, are also uh, students. As Tanil mentioned, we have a family pathway um, in appreciation for uh, having to put your plans on hold. Um, we've had uh, spouses, partners, of military members serving and veterans join us and they've said you know it was all about supporting the mission um, and something that ha they had to put on the back bench is their education and now they've got this opportunity um, so they don't have to dig into their um, high school uh, records. They can simply uh, apply through our family plan and um, it's just about uh, doing a write-up on a motivation to study and you have a chance at the admissions level to chat with the faculty head and our national manager of the student veteran services to, um, to help you with the um, entry into uh, university. So there we are. When? When is a good time to commence study? Gosh, in a way it's never a good time, so you may as well just uh, go for it when you've got a few things in place. Um, I know when I left the military and my husband left the military, he decided to go for an MBA and we had a six week old little baby son and I thought is this the right time? Ah, we made it work because life is busy no matter what stage you're at. It's pressure um, and on a note he did graduate uh, and got his MBA and uh, <clears throat> and our son followed in his footsteps all these years later so it can be done. Um, I think what's important is when you make that choice to enter university um, as a mature student that you you may not have everything in place, but most things in place and support of your family and friends. But at ACU, um, we have the liaison staff and the peer uh, facilitators, assistants to you. Um, they have the lived experience of being a student, being current serving or ex-military and um, 
and they're there for you. So this is something where I encourage everyone to go for a higher education um, as a rule, but uh, and whatever university suits you. I just feel really proud that here at ACU, we've invested in supporting those who decide to go for it. Uh, where where are these students? Um, as mentioned, we have seven campuses and we have um, online study, um, ACU online. How? This is part of the presentation to let you know how to proceed. Um, we have our direct entry application process, um, the veteran entry program, VEP, and um, we can put the link in the chat uh, now or towards the end. Um, but basically, uh, if you just Google um, Australian Catholic University, I have military experience, it will bring you to our site and you can navigate through all the different aspects of our offering. Here's our commitment. We want to help you out with accessing the education, transitioning to, you know, how do you go from being out in the field, training, working with your hands to writing an essay? Um, that transition is tough. We, as veterans, know that the military, you know, it's tough going in basic training and further training and job responsibilities, but um, we find a way to have a laugh and we really are accustomed to that close knit community. So um, transitioning to an environment with um, school leavers, with academics, um, that might not be your, your natural comfort zone. Um, so we have a veteran transition program to help with that because um, it, it can be smooth and that's our goal to make it so and help you succeed. We want to be clapping when you walk across the graduation stage. This is a busy uh, screen, but I think it reflects on how busy our staff are uh, to provide three uh, of our programs. The entry, transition, and ongoing support. Um, so over to the left, you can see sort of the life, life cycle of these programs, accessing, uh, transitioning, participating, and then onwards to uh, the career that you've dreamed of, or second career you've dreamed of. The Veteran Entry Program. Um, it is at no cost uh, to apply. Uh, our admissions team, they take your uh, ADO service long and they have a look at your number of years in and your rank achieved and that's converted into an entry rank similar to an ATAR and um, then they can have a look at the requirements of the degree you'd like to do. Um, and uh, within two weeks, they will let you know if you've got an offer or not. So going with our direct entry program, um, it's pretty efficient. You don't have to wait in the queue as you would um, a longer process um, through the state admissions and no fee. Um, so uh, basically, as it says here, with two years service, that entry rank would be an 82, and that allows you admission to most of our bachelor degrees. Um, and yes, as we said, um, it's available to all current serving and ex-serving members of the ADF and uh, and Commonwealth countries as well. So um, there we are. This is our family pathway, um, which uh, we have about 20 
students now who are currently studying. They are either a partner, spouse, um, or a dependent, either um, fresh out of high school or they've spent a couple of years working and now they'd like to do a degree and we have this entry program for them. And they become part of the community here. So if they are used to living on a base where there's military families, um, we all become one family here at ACU. Um, and they're involved in our social activities and also if they're needing assistance in communicating with their lecturer or accessing other services, we're here to, to way find for them as well. The Veteran Transition Program, uh, it is a, um, as I mentioned, it, it tries to address all these, these potential barriers that veterans and current serving members might have with this new environment. Um, it's run over two weeks. Uh, our next uh, veteran transition program will be mid-year. And that's on from the 3rd of July to the 14th of July. So if you were to apply for mid-year uh, prior to the semester start, which is at the end of July, you can um, do the VTP and it is awesome. As one of my uh, peer facilitators said, basically all our support services, academics, um, your liaisons are there and we provide everything on this beautiful platter um, that helps prepare you for um, your commencement. Um, and uh, this uh, program is done, it's uh, an actual unit um, where the professor is uh, giving the lectures and you have the option to submit your assessments. And if that unit, it's a philosophy unit, is part of your course, um, it isn't part of every course, like not the master's level. Um, and there's a couple that it isn't part of. But for those where it is a core unit, you have the option of going for that uh, grade um, with this transition program and getting that unit out of the way so that you can free up uh, your time um, in your second semester. So it's kind of nice. One of the best things about the VTP. I mean, there's a million great things about it, but uh, it's the community that uh, you build from the start. Um, you gain friends who understand you before before it's even the first day of classes. Um, and I experienced that here in August, or sorry, in um, oh, uh, in January when we ran our VTP. Um, those students, they know where my office is, they know where our uh, lounge area is for student veterans, and they are so engaged and it's, it's wonderful. I don't know who's more excited, them or me, about the company, but it's great. They're, they're going to thrive. Um, student veteran support program. Wow, we have so much going on for veterans once you've commenced. Um, so we can help you out uh, communicating, as I say, with your lecturers. Um, if you have special circumstances, um, we like to uh, have proactive programs where you're just popping in for tea, for a coffee. Um, or coming to planned events. We here in Melbourne had a start of semester event where we all went to a bathing box and we were able to throw open the doors to bathing box number seven and just get to know each other better. Um, we have um, online as well as on campus events. We're always doing something for Veteran Health Week um, with DVA. Uh, many, many supports. We've got a lifestyle exercise um, program 
just for veterans. And that allows you almost like a personal trainer. So when you're starting to feel, oh, my physical self um, is getting neglected with study, we've got this program for you that, uh, pardon me, that's fantastic. So that's just one of the um, ongoing supports. Pardon me. Recognition of um, what you attained in the military. Um, this prior learning um, as a mature student. We say we give credit where credit's due. Most of our bachelor programs uh, have a particular unit that's a core unit. And it's called um, Global Justice and, and we have the the team that um, was funded by DVA to come up with this um, framework for recognition for prior learning. You know, it was established that as um, having served in the military, you kind of know a lot about um, justice in the global world. So that's uh, credit granted. So that's basically a almost $2,000 unit that um, you have done and dusted before semester starts. So you don't have to invest the, the time into it or the money into that one. So it starts with that. And then there's five packages that were developed. So if you're in a course that has what we call unspecified credits, so kind of electives, um, if you have achieved um, certain level of IET, the initial education training, they have calculated um, that if it applies to the course rules of your degree, um, the you know from this screen you can see as a as a private lance corporal and so on the units that uh, you can request recognition of prior learning for. Um, and then for officers, there's a really nice clear one that uh, has already determined four units that um, you would have recognition of prior learning for in a two year degree. So that's basically a semester. And this is how that works um, with the two different streams of um, the officer journey. All right, so it was nice because we were able to indicate um, specific units that apply. All right, so um, we've talked about the entry, the transition, uh, ongoing support, our um, work we did with our partner to establish a framework for recognition of prior learning. Um, we figure you might still be curious because everyone has um, a specific story um, and we encourage you to have a look at our website and um, will put the links in there um, at the end or currently I can't see but um, the other thing you can do is have a look out for our open days. Um, we'll be having one in August here in Melbourne, but if you go to the ACU website, our Ask ACU team will be able to give you dates for um, the online open day as well as on campus open days. And Tanil, she hosted uh, a uni experience day in Brisbane recently and I'm about to put together an itinerary for a virtual uni experience day that will um, get you familiar with a lecture, a chat from our support services such as counselors, disability, librarians, your favorite people here um, at ACU and uh, and 
it'll be just a day where you kind of get an idea of what uni life would be like. So that's coming up. And then I really wanted to share with you a little photo album just on one page of some of the things we've been up to. Here we are. Um, so our campuses uh, are veteran friendly. Um, are, we've spent a lot of time talking to our colleagues, both professional and academic staff about our program and uh, they are 150% behind it. Um, always asking what more can we do to meet the needs of your cohort? So it's pretty darn comforting. Um, we have a beautiful um, sort of early Anzac Day uh, and Remembrance Day services. Um, the photo here was um, a Remembrance Day last year and the campus dean um, comes and talks to our student veterans. We ask our student, uh, a student veteran to give a reflection at the service. And um, we even had the participation of our international students. So it was just a beautiful fusion of people from so many different backgrounds. Um, here at my office, I've got a picture of uh, the shelf. We've got, we're starting a little library, and you can see we've got the 214 coffee that I purchased that um, helped out Soldier On. Um, the Veterans Blend, I, I got to order more. We're, we're drinking a lot of it. And uh, an Aussie Veterans Coffee and um, Fun and Games here. Um, it's it's just gorgeous. Students will drop in between classes and uh, yeah, every now and then there's a, a Tim Tam. Um, veteran families, we just love seeing them graduate. Um, so this is a graduation a couple years ago. Um, and we've got our, there's a picture of one of our student veterans taking advantage of that program I told you about, the exercise lifestyle program. Um, the cages, this is a communal area for student veterans to gather in Brisbane, very well used. And also a pretty picture of our student veteran impact awards night. That's part of our support services. We have students who are amazing and we have a program where if they're doing community service as well as studying, have that military background, we have nominations for them to come forward and talk about how they're um, doing all these wonderful things for the community and our vice chancellor hosts um, last year we had special guests Sir Peter Cosgrove come and um, the <clears throat> commissioner for um, military family advocacy Gwen Shern came and uh, also uh, uh, an ex uh, uh, medical corps doctor came in from Adelaide to talk to all the students, our stakeholders um, and our partners. Um, and it was a great night for the students. So um, ACU um, provides that complimentary for our students. Um, so we're hoping that um, you'll be able to to enjoy um, the life that we've um, we're continuously trying to improve for student veterans. There, there's a few little points in the summary. Um, we think that coming over to ACU, if you're considering higher education, um, is is going to support you. Um, that uh, meaningful employment is important when you have served in one that is is so admirable um, and we just want to make starting university really accessible so um, thanks for attending or for watching online if you do that later um, 
do get in touch, especially if you have specific questions about yourself and the stage that you're at. Um, that's our email and uh, we have several staff members who um, luck of the draw. It could be myself, Tanil, Adam or Aaron um, answering your email. So that is it for uh, the screen. So I'll stop sharing.